Hey guys, my name is Z and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the new features that you'll find in DaVinci Resolve Studio 19. Right now, we only have access to the public beta version. I'm sure they'll be releasing the stable build soon. The feature that we're going to be looking at is called Music Remixer. Now, I already tested it out and I think it's pretty good. I have a music track here that I downloaded from my Artlist account and I'm just going to play it for you uh, so that you just hear what it sounds like. We've got a couple of things there. We've got a uh, voice, we've got drums, we've got bass. It's a full track essentially. Let's say maybe you want to mute the voice or you want to mute the drums or mute the bass. Well, with Music Remixer, now you can actually do that. In your inspector panel, you'll find this Music Remixer that is now available to you. I'm just going to play this track again and take note when I check these boxes, mute voice or mute drums or anything of that sort and just hear what it does to the music. That's pretty cool, I must say. It actually reminds me when I still had my Epidemic Sound account. I know you could download certain music tracks with what they call stems, and you could download the voice by itself, the drums by itself, and the bass by itself. This pretty much allows you to do the same thing, even if you just have the one track and you don't have it split into different stems. This is a cool feature, and honestly, it makes sense to have this now, especially in this AI era that we are in. Apart from muting certain instruments of your track, you can also lower the volume of certain instruments. Let's just play that again and I'll illustrate. Course you now get it it's pretty simple to use i just thought to share that there are a couple more new features that are in davinci resolve studio 19 but i just thought of sharing that one first i might share the other ones once i play around with them a little bit more until next time my name is z cheers